This amendment will make it clear that our charter schools are just like our public schools, that we're not going to discriminate based on any category protected by our United States Constitution, including the Equal Protection Clause or under federal law that applies to our states. Uh, I think there may be some consensus on this amendment, and I would ask the body to support this amendment. I, I agree with this amendment. Now, I will say that it doesn't do it in exactly the language that I would wish or that Representative Brandon had um, uh, uh, articulated and enumerated um, and that Representative Fisher had enumerated yesterday. Um, but I think it, it does what we want morally and legally and constitutionally the law to be, which is a recognition that no child should be discriminated against in a charter school, which is a public school, for any reason based on their status or who they are. Um, and I think um, that anyone, um, uh, when, when you look at the uh, categories protected by the Constitution and federal law, um, that I think this achieves that in a way that perhaps sends a good message from everybody in this House uh, about what we believe are, are the rights of children in public schools and charter schools. I do uh, I accept this amendment. Uh, I, the bigger problem that we have is that this is the best way to address it. The bigger problem that we have in the state of North Carolina that I hope as I leave this body that you deal with when I leave is that you still have a whole group of your citizens that are treated as second class citizens. There are no protections really except for federal law and statutes for the LGBT community and I'm not going to rehash all of that but I will let you know that regardless of how you feel about the situation, we still are Americans. And like I said before, it's still entitled to all the privileges thereof. Thank you.